Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today let's go to the state of Rajasthan which is very rich in heritage and culture and above all food. Rajasthani cuisine has a large variety of veg and non-veg dishes to offer. Let's choose lal mas today. Lal mas is a meat dish. It's, it can be made from chicken and mutton. It's a very spicy dish made with red chilies, red chili paste. So spicy food lovers will surely enjoy this. So let's go and make it. Here are the ingredients for making lal mas. I have taken 400 grams of mutton, chosen the nalli nihari pieces, two onions, medium sized, chopped very finely. You can even grate them if you like. One cup of yogurt, homemade red chilli paste, use as needed, quarter cup mustard oil. 1 piece cinnamon stick 2 or 3 bay leaves 4 green cardamoms lightly crushed 1 black cardamom 1 teaspoon cumin powder 1 teaspoon coriander powder half teaspoon red chilli powder quarter teaspoon turmeric powder salt as needed 1 tablespoon crushed garlic and 1 tablespoon of grated ginger now let us proceed to marinate the mutton first put the mutton pieces in a bowl add 2 tablespoons of yogurt we will save the rest for adding to the gravy later add salt and the turmeric powder mix everything very well now cover it and set it aside Place a pan on the gas, add mustard oil. We have to bring it to a smoking point. Reduce the flame now, add the spices one by one. First black cardamom, then bay leaves, cinnamon stick and the cardamoms, green cardamoms. Saute them lightly on low flame till the aroma comes out. Now add the grated ginger and the garlic. Saute it. Continue stirring on medium flame till the color changes. Now add the finely chopped onion. Stir fry the onions till they become golden brown in color. This will take about 7 to 8 minutes. Make sure you do it on the medium flame so that they don't become black. Now you see the color is quite nice golden brown. And here go the mutton pieces. Tip them in. And stir well with a spatula. Now add the spice powders one by one. Here goes the cumin powder. Followed by coriander powder. Next the chilli powder goes in. You can add more if you like. And the salt to taste. Two 
टू टी स्पून ऑफ रेड चिल्ली पेस्ट दिस इज होम मेड पेस्ट क्वाइट स्पाइसी यू कैन एड एज मच एज यू कैन टेक द मोर स्पाइसियर द टेस्टियर दिस मटन डिश इज नो कंटिन्यू सॉटेंग द मटन mix everything well so that the spice powders are all blended well together now cover the lid and let it simmer till the oil comes out of the pieces separates you see now the you can see the oil continue to stir again you need to stir fry a lot in this dish now i'm making a little space in the middle so that i dip in the curd whisk to your gut immediately with the spatula keep stirring so that it doesn't curdle incorporate the yogurt into the masalas continue to saute you can increase the flame a bit now continue to stir fry the masala looks nice and blended now with all the yogurt and spice powders keep the flame medium don't make it very high so that the masala doesn't become black now i'm adding the kashmiri chili powder for color i did not mention it in the list i forgot to show it in the ingredients but the kashmiri red red chili powder gives a very nice color to the dish some people add red color but that is not i avoid adding the colors if you want you can add little more kashmiri chili powder if you want red color but later when you are simmering the colors come out you will see the chick the same dish will be red later when it is finished now add the water and simmer to cook I'm adding 2 cups of water. I might add little more later depending on the mutton. Sometimes the mutton is tender, it requires less water. You can use pressure cooker if you like, but the simmered curry is always tastes better. I prefer my mutton and chicken to be slow cooked always. Place the lid and let it simmer. I've allowed it to simmer for about 45 minutes now. In between, I mixed stirred it to and added one more cup of water as the mutton was quite tough. Now the curry seems to be done. The mutton looks soft. It's ready. Now check for the salt. thing should be okay add if anything is needed you can even add more chili powder if you want all depends on how spicy you like it to be now the lal mas is done
switch off the gas it's ready to be served now you see when you leave for a while how the oil floats on top and the color looks rich and red it goes very well with rice but you can even serve with rotis friends hope you are enjoying my videos do share the feedback i'll be glad to hear from you and please subscribe my channel if you have not done so and also remember to press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever i post a new video stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you